like I said. So uh, you want me to put my hands yep, on Yep, I just want your hands on there. Like I said, don't override me or anything like that. Okay. And I'm going to get us up in the air here. There's no tower? No tower. Just kind of letting everybody know. Yep. How long is the runway? Uh, the runway is... I think it's only 4,000. It's a pretty short runway. I don't know. Oh, helicopters, you don't know, really want to say that. Let's go to the Lehman party. Victoria, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep continuous in this climb, okay? Um, but what I want you to do is actually with your left hand, I want you to kind of kind of just get a feel for what the helicopter is going to do and just how sensitive it is. Like I said, this one's not nearly as sensitive as the cyclic, um, but I want you to slowly lower the collective. Then I can feel the helicopter kind of start leveling out, maybe even... Sorry, this is station 1690. Alright, I'm going to come back up with it. Alright, good. Yeah, I'm actually going to lean this uh, cyclic over here. Well, I'm not quite comfortable taking it where you got it, if you're okay. Okay. And point like a traffic helicopter, 25 Tango, we just departed the field of these ramp. Uh, it's approximately two miles to southwest, 1,000 and under, southwest for the dam. I actually am finding I'm a little more nervous than I thought I would be. <laughs> All right. I'm still on here. There were the controls with you. Okay. Okay. Um, but what I want you to do, okay, is I want you to kind of initiate a little bit of a turn to the right. Okay. Remember, everything's just a small right pressure. Just kind of get a feel for it. All right. We're going to go back to the left. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, you look out there about uh, I am three miles. Okay, I'd there's like you that. To take back over, sorry. I know, that's fine. I'm on the controls here. Well, I'm, okay. I'm here with you. Okay, so see that knoll right in front of us, about three miles? No. A knoll is a hill. Uh, yeah, that's oh, okay. right, right before the waterfall. Yes, I see that. Okay. Uh, we're going to be flying directly over that, okay? So, what I want you to do is, with your peripheral vision, I want you to find yourself a good sight picture, okay? Um, usually, it'll end up being towards the top of the compass. For you, yeah, it's probably about right up in here. Okay. okay with, the, with the horizon line. Okay, just remember that we use small controlled inputs to fix the, for that, okay? I'm going to say you have the flight controls. Uh, I'm not quite ready for that. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. That's not a problem. Okay, I'm here, I'm here with you. Um, okay. just, I'm just going to be here lightly with you, okay? So if you want to actually control the helicopter, maybe go do a little bit to the right, to the left. You know, do whatever it needs to do so we're going to fly direct, so we're actually going to fly directly over that that no, okay? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now. <laughs> well, if you want to go right, push a little bit right pressure to the right. If you want to go left, a little bit to the left. Okay, and we're actually a little slow right now. Uh, it's kind of climbed on us. Or the, or the horizon line is falling for us, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to push ever so slowly forward, get us back a little bit of airspeed, get us in the correct attitude. Okay, we're gonna, that's going to put us the, with your peripheral vision, it's going to line up that side picture. And it's very slowly, it'll bring up the airspeed, and it'll put us in the correct attitude that we want. so many things to think about. There is. It's a, it is a lot. A lot of, like I said, a lot of times it becomes overwhelming um, for people, and that's why we only introduce 
you know, one control at a time with you. Yeah. You know, and that's why I want you to just concentrate on the cyclic. Okay. And you have the flight controls. I'm not even flying the thing, you're flying, I'm my hands oh off. Oh my gosh, you're doing uh, great! My hands off of it, so. I just want you to say I have the flight controls. I have the flight controls. Alright, great. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Alright, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to start a little bit of a turn to the right. Okay. Perfect. Doing good. Remember everything's just a small pressure. We wait for our, wait for those movements that the helicopter react to our inputs or our pressures. And then go from there. like that side picture is doing to you right now. It looks like it's a little low. It's a little high on our windshield because that actually we're actually diving kind of a little bit towards the down. Not diving. Okay, so we're just going to come, we're going to correct for that. We're just going to come a little bit back. Oh. A little bit of aft pressure, a little back pressure. That'll bring that compass, it'll bring that side picture back to where we want it, right? Okay. Yep, and you're going to keep the turn to the right. Good. Too sharp? Uh, it's not. It's not too bad. Whatever you're com you know, whatever you're comfortable with. Oh, I'm not comfortable right now, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, we're gonna straighten out right now. Okay. Now, how do I straighten out again? A little bit of left pressure. If we're drifting to the right, we just put a little bit of left in. Okay. Okay. See that big old uh, water tower? That brown one? Yeah. About three and a half, four miles in front of us. Yep. We're gonna fly directly towards that. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm a little high. I'm yeah. Perfect. So you're see, you see him, so you just put a little bit of slight forward okay. pressure. Can you grab that? <laughs> <laughs> I think the turbulence scares me a little bit. <laughs> There's a little bit of wind. Not too bad, though. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit, a little bit left pressure. All right, good, yeah. All right, doing good. Okay. Now, is it the top of the haze that's considered the horizon? Uh, yeah, you can use that. You know, whatever. It's basically just finding a point uh, that you can reference to. Okay. okay. You could actually, I mean, if there was a road out there, you could use that as a reference point. Granted, that's going to always change on you, because it's not going to be a certain distance. Um, but, you know, that that's all it is, is you're just finding a reference point for you to reference something inside the helicopter uh, to the outside to keep you in a steady attitude. Am I going straight, or? Yep, just keep going straight. Ooh. And Branson Air to helicopter 25 Tango, uh, one mile north of the Chateau, 2000 B, turning eastbound on the north side of 76 for landing. Yeah, right, I good. feel like I've dropped a little low, is that right, or no? Uh, yeah, a little bit. So, correcting would be just to pull little, back? Yeah, just a, ever so slightly back. And we're going to continue a right-hand turn here. Okay. Now, what does it feel like it's doing? Feels like I'm a little high and yeah. turning to the right. Yeah, well, we want a little bit of turn to the right. Ooh. Okay. Good. It's going to go, it's going to kind of want to get dive back down, so we're just going to come a little bit back with it. You know, like it, like it said in the video, um, the helicopters inherently stay unstable. You know, so we're not going to be able to keep that si perfect sight picture the whole entire time. Okay. Okay. So it's not a big deal. Like I said, if we have a little drift, a little climb, descent, not a big deal. We just make very small movements to correct for it. Yep. We're just going to keep this little kind of right drift. Keep coming here. Uh, what we're actually going to do is see this valley that we're kind of cradling right now. Yeah. Uh, we're actually going to follow this valley all the way down 
uh, towards downtown Branson, okay? So we're going to go a little bit to the right. Keeping your eyes focused outside? I'm working on it. <laughs> well, I'm, yeah, I'm just, you know, just to help you. Thank you. Yep. Little pointers, because people's eyes start to wander and they start to kind of focus and fixate on a certain thing. I think I'm uh, going a little high. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, there's a little bit of wind here. You kind of you kind of can feel it shuffle us a little bit, and that's all that is. It's not a big deal. Okay. Actually, we're gonna come a little bit, slightly come a little bit back, back pressure or aft with the cyclic. There we go. Point like a traffic helicopter, two five tango. Two and a half miles to the northwest of the field, 1,800 feet eastbound for the landing. Alright, you're doing good. Are we going to turn now? Uh, Kind of straighten it out. We, we will turn, but not to, not here for a little bit. Okay. Yeah, you definitely need good sunglasses when you're up here. Oh, definitely. Ooh. Sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. I think I've pitched a little high. Okay. Yep, you are. You are a little high, so you're just going to push down just forward just a little bit. Okay. Doing good, though. You're using very... biggest thing is those small corrections, and that's those small movements. A lot of people, they have an over-tendency to try to... Over, they just over-control the helicopter, basically. But your movements are very small and very methodical and good, so that's... Couldn't ask for better there. Okay, I'm dropping a little low again, so that pull back. Uh, yep. Point like a traffic helicopter, uh, two pop tango. We're two miles to the east of the field, 1,700 B, direct to the east round. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come on the controls here. Okay. I have the flight controls. You have the flight controls? All right, still want you on here. We're actually going to we're just going to start a little descent here back to the airport. You need to try some hover. You definitely have to be able to multitask. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of it's, you know, especially when you're trying to do all of it at the same time, it uh, takes a little while. You know, especially with hovering, nobody can hover it first. It's just, it's the way it is. Nobody can do it. You know, look at your controls and look at your environment and yep. use your hands and... <laughs> a lot going on. I'm just going to put us over here in this field, and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit on the ground and kind of go over a few things for you that will kind of help you with hovering, all right? Okay. You mean we're going to learn how to hover? Well, you're going to learn how to hover. Oh, my God. Or at least first Pretend. lesson. Yeah. <laughs> Pretend to hover anyway, right? <laughs> yep. Okay, when we're hovering, okay, 
biggest thing what I want you to do is, again, I want you to keep your eyes focused outside, okay? We don't want to be concentrated on the ground in front of us, okay? That's very bad. Okay. All right, it'll make life a lot easier for you. Just keep your eyes focused outside, okay? Okay. Um, and a kind of a principle I kind of want to teach you uh, is a thing called pr or a pendulum effect. Okay, if you can imagine if we were to take a string or whatever and we tie a nut on the bottom of the string, all right? Okay, we're suspended and we hold that nut about 10 inches below us, okay? That whole nut, the whole weight of the thing is suspended by this one point, right? Right. Okay, the helicopter works the same way. We're suspended on that one spot right above us. Okay. okay? But we're sitting in the fuselage. Uh, we're just kind of basically dangling there. Okay. In that, saying that, works a thing called pendulum effect. Okay, so say, if, like, for example, with our nut, um, if we were to put a little bit of, you know, left input or whatever, it's going to take a second for that nut to catch up, right? And it's going to chase it. Okay. okay. Works the same way, you know, and it works, the helicopter, the fuselage that we're sitting in is going to chase what our rotor disc is doing. Okay. okay. Um, so, if, for example, if we have a rotor disc sitting near a nice, perfect level, okay, if we put a little bit of uh, left pressure in, it's going to tilt the little rotor disc to the left, okay, and the fuselage down here is going to follow it. Um, okay, so what we're going to do to correct for that, we're going to come a little bit back to the right, okay, not to a neutral, because if we come neutral, we're just going to kind of keep going, you know, kind of drifting or whatever, okay, but we're going to have to arrest that drift, okay, so we're going to come a little bit right pressure, that's going to tilt the rotor disc to the right, okay, but then the helicopter, the fuselage is going to slowly, and then it's going to come to a stop, okay, at that point, we want to come back to a neutral position, okay, okay. because if we don't, then the helicopter is basically, then we're chasing it again, okay? Then we're going to come back to the right, and you end up just doing what they call as a basket weave. Okay. okay. So biggest thing is, if we have a little bit of drift to left, we're going to correct for a little bit of right pressure, okay? Once once the helicopter starts to come and fade to a stop, uh, or kind of become a neutral, then we're going to come back to a neutral position, okay? We're just going to put a little bit of back left. Okay. Or, or counter that correction, or that uh, drift that we put in, okay? Okay. Is this the same routine with you have controls and then you'll talk Yeah, back. yeah, okay. exactly. And you'll grab them, like, if I'm doing something wrong, I'm hovering yeah, right now. definitely, okay. Jesse. <laughs> I'm hovering right now. I want to kill a $300,000 helicopter. 400000 Okay, I'm sorry, 400000 <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this pointed out here. We're going to keep our eyes focused outside. Yep. What I want you to do is with your left hand, you get your left hand on this uh, collective? Yes. Okay, I want you to raise that collective. Kind of see the helicopter kind of go up and down. Now we're going to go lower it. Okay. Get us back to about 10 feet above the ground here. All right. Okay, now with this cyclic, okay, I'm going to put this over here in your lap. Okay. Now you feel comfortable, you feel comfortable with it? Uh, kind of, yeah. Is it the, okay, I'm just asking if, it, yeah. if it's comfortable in your lap. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay what we're going to do, this is a stabilized hover. Okay, okay, what I want you to do is remember the, the hovering is very, we use very, very small inputs. Okay, so for example, if we got a little bit of drift to the left, just kind of feel for it. We're going to come counter with a little bit of right, and then we're going to come back to a neutral, okay? You see that little small, minute movement? Yeah. Okay, that's how small it is, and that's how our movements are going to be, okay? Okay. We don't use big corrections. Okay. All right. You have the flight controls. Your hand is going to stay on. I, her yes, I'm. Um, I have the flight controls. All right. You have the flight controls. Okay. Oh, sorry. Now we're going to come a little bit back. <laughs> we're going to come a little bit forward with it. Kind of just slow it down. We want to. We don't want to correct for it with huge inputs. Yeah. Okay. So, like for example, if we got, you know, if we got a lot of back pressure, you know, or whatever pushed here. Okay, we're not going to hurry and correct for it forward because what we do there, we're going to put the helicopter in a really steep attitude. We're just going to okay. do very small corrections to counter it. Okay. Remember, every control input, whether it be to counter a huge movement, is going to be small. Okay. Are right, you have the flight controls? I have the flight controls. Okay. Okay, a little Sorry. bit back. Okay, <laughs> and we're going to come back to the flight control. Let it, let it rest. I'm going to back us up here, so we're back in the middle of the field. We don't... Okay. All right. Get us back in the stabilized hover here. Okay, yeah, you have the flight controls? You have a... seems like there's a little bit of a, a, a tendency for forward pressure. There we go. I'm going to crack forward or right. <laughs> That's what I'm not doing so good on. <laughs> well, it's all right. You know, and it, it, you know, the thing is, is nobody can hover it the first time, so it's not a big deal. 
Um, you know, like I said, if it drift, who cares? You know, we're just going to use a small, small input to correct for it. Okay. I think I'm not quite getting the, the whole, like, okay, what do I do on the next thing? What do I do on the next thing? Well, whatever the direction is going. If we got a little, if the helicopter's going forward and to the left, we're going to come back and to the right. Okay. Okay. We just, we correct, uh, with a, we correct the pressure to the movement of the helicopter. Okay. Okay, so you have the flight controls. Okay. Oh, sorry. So we're going to come a little bit back. <laughs> I feel like I kind of just not quite getting the, I understand changing the movement, but <laughs> feeling like I'm pushing too hard, and then when I don't push enough, then I feel like it goes way in the wrong direction. Yep, and it, that's what, yep. So it does. That's why I said wait for your inputs to, you know, wait for your control inputs. Wait for the helicopter to respond to those inputs. Because so, there's a bit of lag. We chase we chase the inputs. So right now, oh, sorry. <laughs> You're fine. You're still flying in. Oh, well. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, seems like it would be an easy thing to just stay in one place. <laughs> but you move real quick. And well, I'm like, oh. Just because the, heli the helicopter's so agile, it moves so quick. So, I mean... But if you watch, I mean, I'm, right now it's a stabilized hover. Right. And feel how small that, like, those movements, You're those, moving those a little lot. directions yeah. that I'm putting in. I mean, they're they're minuscule. But minuscule, but huge at the same time because yeah. they're keeping it stable. All right. You got the flight controls? Oops. Sorry. Nope, you're Oops. fine. All right, I got it. Yep. All right, I'm going to take control of the helicopter here. I got the flight controls. Okay. All right. What'd you think? Pretty wild, huh? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> 